drink? No, thanks. Unfortunately, I'll have to stay sober for this. Suit yourself. <laughs> I, fortunately, do not. Well, before we start, let me just say thank you again for meeting with me. I know this must be difficult for you, but I give you my word that you will be completely anonymous. And frankly, I commend you for stepping forward. Why don't we start at the beginning? I started working for her. By her, you mean the vice presidential candidate? Yes. Bingo. That's what we've been waiting for. Are you recording it? Check the levels, make sure they're good. Two years ago, when she was governor, everything was great in the beginning. I was envious of her. She was always very professional, very friendly, and extremely passionate about politics. She was my role model. <laughs> that is, until I found out she was a Lying, cheating, conniving SOB who would do anything to get ahead. Anything. Can you elaborate on that? One day I heard her talking on the phone about how she was worried that something may go wrong. She went on saying that she had information. Information that could potentially jeopardize this election. She said she did what any person would do at that given moment with that kind of power. She took advantage of the situation. How do you know for a fact that she did take advantage of the situation? You'd know too if you saw what I saw. Wait, how did you know it was her? She walked right past me. Miss Watkins is how she became the vice presidential candidate. Blackmail. Blackmail. So, what was in the envelope? What the hell? I'm the luck. Oh my god, what was that? Get up, it's time to go. What? at the beginning. I know this must be difficult for you, but I give you my word that you will be completely anonymous. And frankly, I commend you for stepping forward. This is Alex. Alex Watkins, the chiropractor. Only during the week. <laughs> 